Hello my lovelies and welcome to today's video. Today um, is going to be a list of my favourites. I'm sorry I'm normally really really on the ball with time and stuff. Um, unfortunately I haven't been well as you can probably tell my throat and we also had some horrendous news on Monday night. Um, my cousin died in a car accident so I've been very very busy this week but I finally had a little bit of time to uh, record for you and film for you so this is going to be a list of my month, my last month's favourites. Unfortunately there's not actually much here so it's going to be quite a short one but I'm going to start with these two which have been my two favourite things this month and this is Once Upon a Dream and A Whole New World and these are kind of like twisted fairy tales. They are written by an author called Liz Braswell and my partner got me these for my birthday um, so they're really really cool and yeah so these are really good they're really really fun to read they're definitely um, more adult fairy tales if you like they're definitely aimed at sort of older adults or young like young adults sort of thing rather than children um, and they sort of take on a different approach so for example in Once Upon a Dream Sleeping Beauty still pricks her finger um, but you are introduced in her dream world which is run by Maleficent and in A Whole New World it's what would have happened if Jafar got the lamp and not Aladdin so there's those um, I actually have two things I want to talk about which I don't I can't show you and the first one is a TV show and it's Bones um, I started watching Bones when it was first released and then stopped for years and me and my partner have been watching it from the very beginning we're currently on season six and it's awesome if you don't know what bones is it's about the best forensic anthropologist in the world called dr temperance brennan and her um sort of dealing with murder cases and she goes ends up going out in the field with an fbi agent who she falls in love with it's it's all very very predictable shall we say but they definitely get to do some really interesting um, cases and if you don't know what an anthropologist is an anthropologist is the study of society almost um, and also like the way societies work um, forensic anthropologists generally work with bones um, and they they sort of if you if like on archaeological digs people dig up bones and they don't make sense they send them to that to, to these sorts of people and they determine age race sex all that kind of stuff and it's really really interesting it's a very forensic based show and it's fascinating um so there's that and another thing that i want to mention is um it was my son's birthday last week and we took him to drusilla's zoo which is a zoo in east sussex in Alfriston, and um he absolutely loved it and i want to say that it's a really fabulous zoo for taking children to especially as it's really the only zoo in the east sussex area um we do have like little sort of we've got like a rare breed center and stuff like that but this is like the only proper zoo that we really have and it's absolutely fantastic the kids loved it and um it was really really good and even the gift shop wasn't as expensive as i thought it was going to be entry however was very expensive but you know these things happen and yeah you can take your own picnics and there's also food available there but i wanted to mention it just because um i haven't been for a long time and I was very very surprised at how brilliant it was it was absolutely fantastic so the rest of the things that I have to show you are beauty products so I shall move on to that now and the first thing that I want to talk about is this and this is the rituals the ritual of Sakura sensational sensational foaming shower gel so this is like a foaming it's a little bit like shaving foam when you first spray it but it is actually a shower gel and it smells really really good it's obviously it's made with organic rice milk and cherry blossom it smells delicious um, it foams really really well and it leaves skin feeling beautifully beautifully clean which I absolutely love um, the scent doesn't remain on the skin for very long but I found that with a lot of shower gels with me so if you're one of the lucky people where shower gel smells actually do remain on your skin this will leave you smelling lovely for ages okay and then finally I have my three sort of favorite beauty products and the first one that I want to talk about is this and this is a miniature bad gal bang from benefit and 
Um, I'm not wearing it today, but I have been using it quite a lot and I really, really like it and I have been using it regularly and I think it's a fantastic mascara. So I would definitely recommend this. I will link everything in the description box down below if you want to go and find it for yourselves. So yeah. Okay, the next thing is this, and this is another miniature, and it's the Balance Me Instant Lift Primer. Now, this is not a cheap primer. The full size is actually £22. <clears throat> However, it is a fantastic primer. It really, really works. It's velvety. It's not silicon-based. It's very, very velvety to the skin, and it does affect wear time of your makeup. It will make it last longer, and it does also blur and cover any imperfections. So it really, really works. And the last thing is basically what I've been using every single day for months, and this is the NYX Professional Brow Pencil. You've probably seen this in like every video I've done. But yeah, this is the NYX Professional Precision Brow Pencil, and mine is in the shade Ash Brown. And this does look somewhat like a weapon. It's slightly terrifying, but on one end you have a spoolie, and on the other you have a twist-up angled um, the product itself. You have the twist-up angled product and honestly this is the best brow pencil I've ever come across so yeah that is it for this this month's favorites video um again I'm really sorry it was late but I have explained and I really really hope you've enjoyed it if you did please give the video a big thumbs up and press the big red subscribe button as I said I will link all products mentioned and I will also link oh we've got a visitor <laughs> yeah I will also link all of my other social medias down below you can say hello Say hello. Hello. <laughs> and I will see you guys on Saturday. Bye-bye. You say bye. Bye.